morning in the middle of nowhere 2021 freeze fest Great views, but I was uh, so tired last night. Snuggled in, nice and warm, and slept really good. And uh, time to break camp and head back out. Flying my drone a few hundred feet above my campsite, off in the distance, you can see Lake Tahoe. And here you can see Lake Aloha, that uh, barren space there. Now coming back to my campsite and getting ready to pack up and leave. Clean this place up. And I have about seven miles or so to do today. Oh, the beauty of the sunrise painting the top of the trees as it's coming over the ridge of the mountains is absolutely incredible here. Well, this is a view of the landscape on the mountain that I've got to ski out from my campsite. Lots of beautiful skiing in the trees and the sunrise. And I'm headed eastward back to Echo Lake. And as you eventually see the sunrise in the mountains in the background, that's where I'm going to be dropping into. Okay, on the trail, and it is amazing. Um, you can see, there we go. That's my trail in. I'm just gonna follow my trail out. So our navigation will be simple, and hopefully, much easier than yesterday. Just amazing, beautiful, incredible. Now I'm going to take a few minutes and show you my ski route. These are my ski tracks that you see here. And you can see the aerial view of this beautiful mountain snow wonder that I was privileged to be able to ski to ski in on this uh, great beautiful morning. When I'm out in the backcountry in the winter like this, I try to f stay with the established hiking trail, which is really hard because it's buried in snow, of course. And uh, so the GPS is really important to help me stay on the trail.
So you're probably wondering, how deep is this snow? I mean, why don't I just hike out? Um, so right now, the snow that I'm on has been packed down by my trail and some other people came through yesterday. So let's see how deep the snow is. And that is why I'm skiing. Because imagine trying to hike out of this. That would not be very fun. I don't even know how I could do that. Skiing out to the Echo Basin was much easier and mostly downhill from here. Okay, break time. Oh, that's a lot downhill from here. That's good. I'm taking a break. I want to thank Karen for these energy shots. They're, uh, I'm sure they're organic. So I've been using these. Thank you, Karen. Here as I fly the drone from my the spot where I'm taking a break, often the very distance on the ridge there, that's where I came from, dropping over that ridge, and that's the area to Lake Aloha. And that's Tamarack Lake. And here you can see the way out. Skiing across those two lakes, Upper Echo, which is the lake closest to me, and Lower Echo. It's about three miles of skiing across lakes, and then another three quarters of a mile to the car. 